July 6, 2004, with no suspects and no apparent motive in the early Monday murder of a Rome man. Police are asking for the public's help. Thad John Glenn Reynolds, 36, of 69 W. Kenra Drive, was stabbed several times at a Frita Lay distribution centre, 2605 Calhoun Road, around 4 a.m., said Floyd County Police SGT, Dallas Battle. Reynolds was Frita Lay's district manager for the Rome Bacartersville area. Battle said robbery remains a remote possibility for the murder. Although nothing was apparently missing from the scene or the victim, it could have been a robbery, but they didn't keep any money in the building, he said. Reynolds' wallet was there. The investigator said, it is possible the killer thought there might be money inside the building. The victim was pronounced dead at the scene at 6.27 a.m. by Tony Cooper, chief deputy coroner, said Coroner Barry Henderson. That morning, Reynolds was close to his car when he was attacked with a knife said Battle. There was a scuffle outside and inside Frito Lay, he said. The weapon was not recovered, but it is believed to be a knife. The body was discovered around 6 a.m. When an unidentified Frito Lay employee at the distribution center, he went in, saw the victim on the floor and called 911, Battle said. A sheath to a hunting knife was found near the car and a red minivan was seen leaving the area, found the time of the killing. Battle said. We're looking for a red minivan, he said. It's the only lead we've got at this time. GBI and Freud County investigators reported finding blood inside and outside the main entrance and near Reynolds' car, which was parked close to the building, said Battle. The body will be sent to the GBI crime lab in Somerville this morning for an autopsy, Battle said. The victim's car has since been taken to the Freud County Police Department where investigators are processing it for evidence. If they lift any prints, we'll start there, Battle said. The centre was used to load and unload Frito Lay delivery trucks, said Battle. The victim is survived by his, his wife, Michelle, and four daughters, Olivia, 12, Lydia, 6, Emma, 4, and Jenna, 1. He liked to get to work early, while his family was still asleep, so he could be with them at home in the afternoons said Bill Fortenberry, who had been friends with Reynolds for the past eight years. Reynolds was described as a devoted family man, said Mark Huckabee, an associate pastor at Hollywood Baptist Church, where Reynolds served as a deacon and marriage counsellor. His hobby was his family. Reynolds also served as an assistant chaplain at Redmond Regional Medical Center. If you ask anyone about him, the response will be that he was an absolutely devoted father husband and Christian, said Fortenberry. Fortenberry was with Reynolds on Independence Day, when their Sunday school class met at Ridge, Ferry Park. We brought our families, said Fortenberry. It was a time to be together with friends and enjoy the holiday. Reynolds had the gift of encouragement, said Greg Polly, a friend who also attends Hollywood Baptist. Police now ask for the public's help in solving the crime. Anybody that saw anything from 4.30 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. should call us, Battle said. Whether it seems important to them or not, they should call. Anything that seemed out of the ordinary. Reynolds' death is the fifth murder in Floyd County this year.